a low square, but in this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Huh? Asus Intel uh, Celeron uh, CPU. The problem with this one, pressing the power button, nothing happened. And here, the job is coming from our local repair business. Runs OK, used with the power adapter. The laptop shows 73% power available and charging. However, when the adapter uh, was unplugged, it will shut down immediately. Then go on the BIOS, it's showing 100% power available. But still, the laptop it will shut down when you unplug the power. This will be a pretty interesting job, right? Yeah, I know, the thumbnail. Eh? Free NLBA? Definitely. Let's uh, plug the charger and let's see what it's doing. So, plugging the charger, this is the customer charger. And the laptop it is coming on. Uh, yeah, let's go BIOS. F2, the laptop it's on and show me 59% and shutting down. So, why is that? Hmm? What you'll do in a case like this? Go online, buy a, a new battery, right? Yeah, that's what you'll do. We spoke before about the NLBA. Now, the subscription, I think it's $100 per year if you buy a license for 10 years. So $100 per year. Now, try to be honest with yourself and uh, tell me how many wrong batteries did you bought or how much money you pay in one year. Because I work on a computer shop, you will spend a lot more money buying wrong batteries. And when I'm, when I'm saying wrong batteries, I'm saying uh, you think like this fault, it's a battery issue. Maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, then you buy battery because it's not charging, and actually it's not the battery. Then you buy battery because the laptop is not coming on, it's not the battery. Then you buy battery and the laptop still has some issues. Yeah. So overall, the point I'm trying to make, overall, you will spend more than $100, which is about probably like £60 per year, uh, just buying like wrong batteries. That's why definitely an uh, NLBA device to diagnose and unlock the batteries uh, is worth it, yeah, on any shop, no question about it. So the laptop is open, yeah, and we have a small battery, check there. Like a tiny battery, tiny motherboard, huh? A small, sexy motherboard, you can see. Let's check the battery voltage. So the battery has zero volts. So how the how the laptop is claiming the battery is like, was like, what, 70%? Yeah, because we have zero volts. The 70%, yeah, is written by the, uh, from the battery, okay? So the percentage of the charge is coming from the battery, yeah? Just keep in mind, because many it will believe actually something, or uh, it, will, it will read the voltage here, but it's not. Just to be sure, the battery is locked, because it looks like it's locked. I mean, 73%, but it's taking no, uh, no voltage out. Uh, let's go with the power supply and try to charge the battery. I'm gonna lower the current. Good, and we have ground, and we have plus. And the battery is not charging. Maybe I'm not touching. Let me see like that. Yeah, it is. Nice. No, it's taking nothing. Check that. Nothing. No, like uh, 10 milliamps, then it's going to zero. Nothing. Nothing. So what's wrong with this battery? Battery is faulty. We checked together. The, the battery had like 73%. The battery cells, you can see the cells are fine. No issue with the cells. This looks like a new laptop. So why the battery died? That's my question. Because uh, this, it will force you to buy another battery. I don't know, we should take the battery. No, no, why? Okay, let me bring the NLBA device. So we have the NLBA device here. Um, from what I remember last time I used it, I used it same for uh, Asus battery. So I'm assuming are the same pins. We have, we have like four grounds. Okay. Um, then this is ground. 
We should do it like that. Yeah. Perfect. Let's open the program. So I'm going to bring the NLBA onto the screen. Yeah. Good. Let's read the data. Check here. The battery is locked. The cells are balanced. Hmm? So what's wrong here? Capacity. The battery is like 75% charge, exactly like the laptop said, you can see. And the health of the battery is somewhere between fair and poor. The battery cycle counts 75. So because of that, because of these 75 cycles, I don't believe this is actually the real value. So basically, there's no reason on this battery actually to be locked. All the data like looks like it's fine. Let's go to reset. New reset. Next. Ah, uh, no firmware. That's fine. That's okay. The software can manage on uh, no firmware. Um, Richie info. The battery is sealed. Let's uh, unseal the battery. Richie info. Uh, just looking for the values to see what is changing. Okay, clear chip errors. And now he's doing the the real work. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will work. And all done. Okay. Uh, read chip info. And you can see here and here it's a difference. So things changed here. Okay. That's mean the battery is repaired. So I'm going to seal exit boot. I'm going to end. Then let's go here. Read all. And the battery is unlocked. You can see here. Yeah. We just unlocked the battery. Let's see if the battery is charging. The fuse can be blow up. Start charging. And the battery is not charging because the chip also blow up the fuse. I can't believe. No, we can't do it. Check here. You can see the current is zero. So even if the battery is unlocked, the current is zero. Because in the moment, the BQ chip, I'm assuming it's a BQ chip here, it's uh, disabling a battery, it's locking a battery, it will burn the fuse also. Just to be sure, you will not, uh, you will not get that battery working again. It's, uh, it's just, you know, it's just a prick, that chip. So it's nothing what we can do. I mean, we unlock the battery, the battery is unlocked, but because the fuse is burning, the fuse is, is in the serial mode with the plus. Uh, we can't use the battery. Yeah. Crazy. So what do we have to do, actually... You know what? You know what? You know what? We have to do a small incision. Surgical incision. Yeah? Uh, onto the battery. And try to figure it out what is wrong with the battery. Uh, here we have some plastic frame. Let me grab my uh, blade. Hmm? Do you think it will work? Do we have access to anything? Yeah, looks like we have access to something. Haha, uh -huh, we have access. Check that, check that. Uh, that's a current sensor, but I can't see the fuse. Where is the fuse? Let's go under the microscope and check together. So here we have a current sensor, then... LOL, we have no fuse here. Actually, you can unplug this battery? <laughs> I didn't know that. So where is the fuse? This is the BQ chip. Yeah, this one. Or the power management chip, let's say like that. No, we have no fuse. So in this case, we have to turn the board on the other side, like that, and check what we have here. Huh? What do we have here? 
We have the MOSFETs and we have the fuse. Yeah, this one. This is a heated fuse. And the fuse is burned. When the fuse is good, you should see this solder bridge from one side to the other. But because on the middle, this fuse has a heater, it will heat the solder, it will melt the solder, and the solder, it will retract on the sides. So all we have to do is to rebuild the fuse. Even if you rebuild the fuse, yeah, we solder, because we, that's, the, that's how it was originally. Uh, it will still blow up if something goes wrong, like, okay, high temperature or overcharging. And for me, everything seems to be fine. What about for you? I mean, from one side, it looks like it's fine. Let's see. So now we fix that problem. Let's connect the NLB again. Uh, yeah, like that. Now let's bring the software onto the screen. Let's read all. The battery is still on lock, but if I'm going now to charge, yeah, and I press start charging. Check here, check here, check here. The battery is taking current. And of course, the battery is providing current. You can see it's charging. So if I'm going to discharge, the battery should provide current. Yeah, check here. It's providing current. So everything is fine now. We unlock the battery and we fix the fuse. Now, personal, I don't have time. So what this battery need? need to go here, calibrate, and you can start calibration, and you can calibrate the battery. But I don't have time for that. That's kind of like a long process. If you have time, you can do it. What I do I, after I repair the battery, I'm, I'm telling to the customer, you know, fully charge the battery, fully recharge the battery like two, three times, then the battery will have the right value here on the health of the battery. Look, the health just goes higher on the battery, yeah. So uh, that's the catch, but the battery cycle count is only 75. But because you hold the laptop all day long, yeah, with the charger plugged in, uh, the chip cannot count charge discharge cycles, and uh, he will assume, you know, the battery is failing. So what do you think about that? Huh? Cool or not? Just tell me. Just tell me NLB is not a cool device. So now if we are plugging the battery, hmm, so plug in the battery back. Uh, let's not forget the, the metal thingy. Good. If we are pressing the power button, hmm, pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. I can't believe. Ha! We fix it. Yeah, probably the BIOS is reset or not. No, it's no reset. And yeah, check that, 62%, and it's holding the charge, and it's working fine. Yeah, that's the point I'm trying to make with the NLBA. So if you ask me, definitely this kind of device is worth the money. I mean, just think, you have this laptop, so, you know, the laptop sure like, you know what, when the battery is locked, the battery will tell to the EC chip, I'm locked, you know, don't charge me, don't, uh, I have no percentage, nothing. But you see, on this case, the battery is locked, but the EC chip still reading the values, like the battery health is fine, I, I'm charged, like partially charged, and yeah, all the stuff. So, and, and it's enabled, it's enabled, so the battery was still enabled. So on a case like this, then it will be is proper, uh, proper helpful. Is something more to do with this uh, with this repair? Yeah, we just need to take the money out from the repair. That's all. Otherwise, it's repaired. Yeah, I done my job. We fix the battery. We are delivering a working laptop with a working battery. And I know what you'll say. You'll say sorry. Yeah, but still, it's not like a new battery. You'll be surprised because we bought like copies battery a long time and you have this used battery. If you give me like this battery used and you give me a brand new copy one, of course, I will pick up this one. Yeah, because I know the struggle with the copies batteries. We, we sold them and we have to give warranty. We have to give a like three months warranty and that was a pain. 
so even you know for three months we still have a lot of uh, returns like okay the battery is not working or the battery is not holding the charge again and stuff like that in like three months period yeah all screws are back pressing the power button and of course the laptop is coming on and working fine let me take out my nlba and it's loading the windows and everything is fine cool and i have the percentage there everything is fine good let me leave the laptop on one side i have a present for you so uh the people from the nlba they send me a device to give away for free so here we have a brand new nlba yeah so that's my one this is a brand new nlba with the connects uh, connectors and cables and even power supply and everything proper nice check here um and you have yeah focus on what matters exactly exactly that's the point i'm trying to make um, this comes with one year free unlocking a license but the best part you can activate that license whenever you want so this doesn't come activated with the license so you have the nlba install the software you can use it till the moment you actually need to unlock a battery and you can activate the license now what i will do with this i want to reward the people they are supporting this channel um so i'm giving away this for the people they join the membership on youtube i'm really sorry but i have somehow to make up with them and there are not so many there are not so many supporters anyway um even if you are not a supporter you can you know press join now button and uh, you have a very high chance to win this nlba have in mind that we're gonna pick up the winner, you know, randomly from the chat um, Sunday during the coffee time. So if you're a member, I really want you to be Sunday on the coffee time in the morning, 8 a.m. UK time. You know, just be there on the chat. Then another requirement is to have like a Discord uh, account and be on our Discord server. So we can ex exchange some data. So you can give me your address. I can post it to you. Cool. I mean, proper nice from them to give away an NLBA. I'm going to leave this on one side. I didn't test it. I'm not going to test it. Yeah, I don't want to activate anything on this one, so you will get this untested. But I will be honest with you, if I will buy, let's say I don't have an NLBA and I want to buy one, I will buy the one, uh, the 10 years license, yeah? Because the 10 years license is $100 per, uh, per year. $100 per year is cheap. $100 is about 60, 60 pounds. 50 pounds, 60 pounds per year, definitely it's worth it. And even if you join and you didn't win the NLBA, then the membership, I think it's around $5, something like that. YouTube is taking half, I taking half, like 2.5, that's mean a coffee. So that's how you buy me a coffee. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link on the description from where you can buy the NLBA and you can you have a coupon, coupon code there so you can have a discount. I would say... Uh, Thank you for watching and uh, see you Sunday morning coffee time. Yeah, very important. You have a high chance to win this. Bye.